Alright, this video is going to be interesting. The reason why, because today in this video, I'm going to compare uh, the Sky replacement in Lumina Neo and On One Photo Raw, the latest version of 2022.5. Now, here is the thing. The reason why you have a Lumina Neo or On One, on, uh, on one Photo Raw uh, or both, um, if you have Photoshop, that's another story, is that you know, to automaticize uh, many tasks. Simply speaking, for example, selecting mass automatically or replacing sky automatically uh, with as precision as possible for a professional world. Now, photo Photoshop has been there forever and Affinity Photo does a phenomenal job, which is quite unbelievable for the price. Now, the reason why you would uh, put Photoshop or Affinity Photo on the size, uh, on the side even though Photoshop recently has a lot of phenomenal things with artificial intelligence. However, when it comes to Luminar Neo or Affinity, sorry, uh, on one known as AI, you have one or another or both is because, you know, doing the same thing, but with the help of, as they market artificial intelligence, with the help of artificial intelligence. So, meaning that, I should be able to select a sky and it should be able to replace it as perfectly as possible as basically 90% of the YouTube videos are showing to you, right? Now, let's do that without any help of masking and retouching because if I have to use uh, fixing a problem, then I could do everything in Photoshop instead of buying a new software like Lumina Neo, correct? So I'm going to go to Lumina Neo first and then go to the Sky AI and then select especially um, a complicated sky. Now, here's another thing. The photo is cannot be more simple because the sky is just plain blue sky. Just pure plain blue sky. It's not complicated. You don't have, you have perfect contrast between the foreground and the background. It's just super easy. Even in GIMP, even in GIMP, you can replace sky with this type of photo because it doesn't have any complication. So, it should be easy, right? Let's find out. So, I'm going to select a galaxy. And then Galaxy or Starry Night, you know, potato, potato is basically more or less the same thing. Now I'm going to select it and then click. Let's find out. And you see the problem already. You see the problem, for example, here you do have uh, gaps right there, right? Now, provided provided you can go to the max refinement and do the global changes which is again not helping much close gaps not helping much either uh, i'm gonna go backward again it's not doing much uh, you can do the sky orientation for example let's see no it's not helping either and you can do the sky adjustment which is i don't know defocus which is kind of making the sky blurry, but you know, it's not working. I'm gonna change the sky to, let's say the other one in the galaxy, and you still do have a problem right there. You can clearly see it. Here's the thing. I know that, you know, um, the, each photo has its own capability and each photo gonna give you a different kind of result. But when it comes to this type of photo, the photo that you are looking at, I'm gonna go pre before and after, look at this. This is the simplest photo in the history of mankind. Simple as that. It's just pure blue sky. You should be able to replace it as super fast as possible. I'm not an on one a photo row fan. I'm actually a fan of none of them. I'm a, um, I'm a simple guy. I use Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro that nobody talks about, nobody even know. Uh, you know. But the on one approached me and uh, Luminar Skylum approached me to create contents on their software. And if I if people buy with my affiliate link and they're gonna give me some commission, well, I took it. That doesn't mean that I'm just gonna be uh, I'm gonna be a sellout, meaning that I'm gonna praise them like majority of the YouTubers are doing. I'm gonna show you the problems. So this is the one problem. Now. We are done with Luminar Neo, right? Now we're gonna go to On One uh, Photo Row 2022, the latest version, which is open. 
And now we are in on one photo row 2022. So I'm going to go to edit first. And then I'm going to go to sky and uh, see what it does. Now I'm going to try to select more or less the similar type of sky. Sky now is going to be exactly the same, but it should be close enough. So I'm going to click night. And you can clearly see that it did quite a good job. Now fade edge, maybe I could, you know, edges I can be um, more contrasty, for example. The more contrasty, more sharp. So it did okay job. Not realistic, but it did a good job with that. Maybe if I can change to something else, let's see. You know, but we're gonna stick to the exact same, exact same um, uh, the 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 sky that we were earlier, more or less the similar. Maybe uh, this one. Let's see what it does. Sky night two. Well, no gap so far. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Let's see uh, so that you can see a little bit. So we had problem in Luminar Neo in, the, in this area, and here you don't have much of a problem. Now, what if uh, I really was expecting it to be a problematic so that, you know, um, I could blame both of them so that, you know, it, it's fair. Now I feel like that it's unfair to Luminar Neo because they, it is a good software, I kind of like it, but it looks like that the, the video makes Luminar Neo kind of a bad software, which is I don't think it's not. But at the end of the day, I'm not here to judge it. Uh, I cannot make a decision uh, based on what I love. Uh, this is fact, right? Now, you can clearly see the sky can be uh, sky can be uh, replaced well in on one photo row 2022 at this point. I'm guessing that Luminar Neo will come up with future updates and and fix the problem at this point. I just show you one of the issue. Now, just for fun, I'm going to open exact same image in, uh, in, in Affinity Photo and just do it manually because it doesn't have any artificial intelligence help, correct? So I'm gonna close this. There you go, we have this image. So you can clearly see that I do have a image selected in advance. So this this one, I mean, just for fun, now, what I have to do is simple. I have to go on top, click select, and then you can either select um, sample color or you can either select color range such as blue, because in this case, you're gonna select blue. Of course, it selects something at the foreground. All you have to do is to make sure that it's not there, make sure that you click subtract and then get rid of it. Just a few seconds of job. Generally, the shadow is blue too. Remember, shadow is also blue. The reason why, because the bright area considered as warm and dark area considered as blue, generally speaking, right? Not always, but generally speaking. So you just have to brush as much as you can everywhere, most of the place. Now, you zoom in, Make sure that everything looks quite good. I mean, you do have a little bit of details here that could have been done better, but just for fun, we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go back to hand and select uh, delete on your keyboard. And boom, it did more or less the same job as uh, on one uh, photo row 2022. How long did it take? It take only, depends on the, in this type of photo, not even five minutes because you just have a pure blue sky and is easy to select. That's all. So my point is that Luminar Neo could have done a better job. Even the Affinity photo can do a better job than Luminar Neo. Uh, of course you need to do everything manually, but good thing about manually, you know exactly what you're doing if you know your tool. Well. I hope it did not sound like a rant. It's more like a productive uh, feedback. And I hope and wish all the best of Luminar Neo to be improved in future. Um, that being said, uh, look after yourself and bye-bye.